Okay, boy, there's, there's no getting around it. We're going to have to make some sort of fucking comment on the football, apparently. Oh, for fuck's sake, aren't there already enough arseholes screaming about how it's coming home already? No, it's the flavour of the week, I guess. So I guess we're just going to have to tick this fucking box. Get it. Done. Oh, I fucking hate this sport ball bullshit. It just, it's just highlighting the dregs of British society and exposing to the world just how fucking idiotic and loutish we can be. Oh, come on, boy. It's not just that. It's also the rampant xenophobia and racism and homophobia as well. Yeah, it's a shit show from all angles. Oh, it's just fucking fair weather fans all over the bastard place. They're more than happy to boo the shit out of the England team if they dare to take a knee or say like, you know, oh, that's where a pride armband is. Oh, fuck them. Keep politics out of football. Oh, fucking hate them. They don't represent what I want to represent. And then, you know, oh, ball goes into the back of the net and suddenly, England, I fucking love you, Southgate. What a bunch are fucking hypocritical cunts. They will turn on them in a fucking instant when we eventually lose. Hang on a second, boy. This uh, this video comes out on Tuesday and the final is on Sunday. So? What, what do you mean, so? We're filming this on Friday. Do you even know what fucking day of the week it is? Like, the match hasn't happened yet. So how can we comment on something that is still in the future for us? Oh, right. Um... Why don't, why don't we just film a bunch of responses for different scenarios and just, you know, pick whichever one fits on the day, yeah? Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, do that then. Film a bunch of shit and edit it together, yeah? Cheers. Cool, awesome. Wait, wait what? So somehow we fucking did it. England won and we're now the European Championship. And all the people who voted to, you know, not be a part of Europe are probably really happy that we've got this championship for some reason. I mean, I, I'm not even sure we should qualify. And yay, now you can use this as an achievement because, you know, you've not really done anything for this. It's a bunch of other lads that have gone off and won it. But we have won. We as a nation have won. Despite the fact that you will boo the fuck out of them when they end up losing or if they dare to say something, you know, woke or leftist or Marxist, but yeah, okay, they have a shiny trophy now, and I'm sure that will ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, matter. <laughs> oh god, everybody got their hopes up. What did you think was coming to happen? Like, this is Plague Island. This is a fucking shithole. All they were doing was building you up for an even sweeter, more satisfying level of disappointment. Oh well, okay, well now you can at least go back to hating them. You can at least go back to shouting at them and blaming them and thinking that, you know, you, you fat cunt, sat there drinking your pints of Stella and beating your wife. You have more of a say more of an authority on how to win a football match considering you know you're about five steps away from losing that fucking leg oh. <laughs> oh okay at least we can see this again with the world cup we can just you know get our hopes up and be fucking losing again soon of course there's a draw of course and it goes to some bullshit point system i don't know how does this work do they do what paper scissors flip a coin how, how do we win if it's if it's a draw? Did it, I mean, 90 minutes, no goals. Yep, that's why I don't watch this shit. That's, it's just, you know, oh, he's kicked a ball, and that man has kicked a ball. He's then going to kick it to another man who will also kick a ball. That's an interesting development. Wasn't expecting that. Fuck off. Penalty shootout, holy fuck. This is about the kinkiest thing that most British people are going to go through because this is practically edging for them. I mean, having to sit there and have the entire thing come down to just one man, one foot, one ball, one goal. Jesus Christ. Th this is how people end up going bald because they will tear their hair out. It doesn't even matter who fucking wins. Everyone's drunk by this stage and it's going to be a riot regardless. <laughs> Oh, wow, we lost by that much? At least we didn't do things by halves. I mean, there comes a point where you think, fuck it, we ain't clawing this one back. Let's just give up. But, I don't know, 89th minute, we're like 6-0, and they're still fucking trying to do something. Bunch of assholes. Oh, Jesus. They're all going to be fucking intolerable now. Oh, God, it was bad enough when we were doing okay, but winning by that margin... But yes, well done. What an achievement. Well done. Blah, blah, blah. It, it's a thing that's happened. Congratulations, I guess. But, Chris, you know what it's going to do to the country? Like, rates of arrogance are just going to spike. They're going to fucking go through the roof. Everybody's going to just want to weigh in like, hey, yeah, well, we fucking did it this time, lads. Fucking hell. Oh, God. I'm just going to withdraw from society for the next few weeks or years. 
I mean, let's be honest, is anybody surprised? I mean, I, I'm not so shocked at all. Like, they, they want to go on about Brexit means Brexit and shit, and now apparently they're just going to chuck other teams clean out of the fucking stadium. Okay, um, they're probably still going to think that they won, despite the fact that we ain't ever playing in this league again. But, all right, lads, you had your moment in the sun. Hopefully it was worth it. <laughs> uh, Brexit means Brexit. Independent country standing on our own. Wait, what do you mean we can't join in in European stuff? Well, this is what you wanted, sweetie, okay? This is what you wanted, darling. You wanted everybody out of the EU, and we're out of it. So, obviously, we don't qualify for shit like this. Are you dense? Like, did you take a bit of a bad fall on your way to the pub, and now you can't quite figure out that when you leave something, you have left it, therefore no longer a part of it? I know it's a hard concept to wrap your tiny little head around, but, yeah, that's, that's the way of the world, darling. I mean, we can just put this one in anyway, because it's guaranteed to happen. Like, take a drink every time someone was taking a dive unnecessarily. How many penalty points did we manage to claw because, you know, someone was tripped up at the right moment? Oh, sorry. Tripped up. You know, I think that's half of the fucking training these days, isn't it? They should give these lads a fucking Oscar. Just fake an injury every five seconds. That's how you win a football match. Fucking hilarious. Just get those lads to play rugby. The kind of guys that will just shake off being hit by what is essentially a wall of meat. The kind of people that, you know, they if they get run over, they're like, oh, well, car's fucked, but I'm still going to play. Like, get a football lads playing rugby, for fuck's sake. See how tough they are then. But there, there we are. That's, that's the football done for now, I guess. At least we can ignore it until the World Cup, and then... <sighs> it all happens again. Same cunts come out doing the same cunty things. Fuck football. Football fandom is so goddamn toxic. I want no part of it. Well, Armas, today's the day. All the restrictions are lifted. It's time to get our freedoms back from the tyranny of COVID. Okay, first off, this tyranny that you're talking about is from the government, not COVID. And also, health measures put in place to protect thousands and thousands of people from dying unnecessarily is hardly fucking oppression, is it? Yeah, but I mean, it's just been so long since we've been able to do so many things, like, you know, go to the pub. But you hate the pub. It's full of loudmouth wankers. Or, I don't know, go to a concert? Yeah, but you never go to things like that either. Well, I mean, there's also sporting events and weddings. Uh-huh, another couple of things that don't affect you. Well, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? I mean, because, you know, it's all over now, and we can finally just move on with our lives. Have you even had the second jab yet? Oh, boy, can't you see? It doesn't matter anymore. I mean, herd immunity's the way we're going anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, uh-huh. The uh, science doesn't really back you up on that one, does it? Oh, come on. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Wow, so, uh, people went a little bit OTT, huh? OTT? The beaches were so overcrowded you literally couldn't see the fucking sand. Bins galore were overflowing with discarded face masks, because apparently that's all fucking over now. And the pubs were so fucking jam-packed with dicks and gammons that it was like a fucking butcher's shop. Oh, and add to that fucking list as well, that cases are still rising terrifyingly fast. Oh, for God's sake, it's all about cases with you and numbers that support your point of view. Like, it's fine because hospitalizations are down and deaths are down and you know most people are jabbed so so what the vaccine isn't exactly a fucking cure -all. it's not just as soon as you've got it you're 100% immune to it it's not even 100% effective no vaccine is for fuck's sake and there are also plenty of other people who you know can't have one for various reasons so kind of need everyone else to get that social immunity. Oh, well, then that's their problem, really, isn't it? You know, I'm all jabbed out, so, you know, I can't keep thinking about other people all the goddamn time. Oh, right, right, no, no, I get it now, right. So it doesn't really matter how many people die, as long as it doesn't affect you and your ability to go out and do what you want, you're totally okay with it. Is, is that the case? No, of course not. I mean, for most of the people in the country, it probably is exactly that, but, no, like, when you look at it, like, a lot of these restrictions have been put in to protect other people. Like, you know, there's a lot of evidence that masks don't really protect you, 
from infection, but protect everyone around you from you infecting them. So, you know, when it's, you know, these measures in place to protect others, and the others are, for instance, the great British public, which are notoriously a bunch of selfish wank stains who completely lack the ability to give a fuck about anyone but themselves. I, what's the point in trying to protect a bunch of fuckers who don't give a fuck enough to put a little bit of cloth over their face to protect you, you know? I'm, I'm yeah, I'm not probably one actually. Aha, uh -huh. and I'm totally 100% sure that that attitude isn't the root cause of all of this shit. I'll just lighten up for fuck's sake. It was just a bit of a rush during the heat wave. I'm sure everything will calm down once everyone's got it out of their system. Uh, so, do you remember, like, a week ago when he was saying that, you know, all of this will be fine, it will blow over? <laughs> yeah, now's not exactly the time, boy, alright? It's gone fucking feral out there. Well, well, at least I feel super safe with you protecting us with what is clearly a toy gun. They don't know it's fucking fake, do they? Oh, I'm pretty sure they'll figure it out soon, but, you know, anyway, back to making you eat your words. Yeah, yeah, all right, I get it, but, I mean, nobody could have fucking predicted that it would go like this, could they? Um, I don't know, I think I kind of did. No, you said anarchy, but you didn't say that it was going to come because Boris shut the fucking pubs again, did you? Oh, well, I mean, that's close enough. I mean, you know, five days of freedom, and then straight back into a super heavy lockdown because shit hit the fan. And then all the fucking anti-lockdown rioters went out and did everything that, you know, they were trying to make out BLM was doing. It was only ever going to go one way, wasn't it? You know, I've been hearing rumours that apparently they're rounding up people who are still wearing face masks and, um... But they're tarring and wooling them. I'm sorry, they're what? Oh, tarring and wooling is where they, like, throw tar on them and stick wool to them because, you know... Uh, yeah, they're because sheep. they're sheep, yeah, like, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, how exactly it's going to go out there, boy. But I mean, if this is if this is it, like it's been really great having you here. I mean that. Oh, uh, we're most certainly not going to make it. We're probably minutes away from death. I mean, you know, the rest of the world has just isolated the nation away, like in that um, 28 days later. And you know, we're definitely going to be among the first to die before it all goes mad, Max. Well, aren't you awfully fucking calm about it? I mean, if our death is apparently so close, then why are you so chilled out about it? Oh, no, I found a plan to deal with it. You see, I'm incredibly fucking drunk right now. I, I can't really feel anything. And it, it's just bliss. It's, it's great. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, fair shout. That's not a bad idea, actually. I mean... We could get all tanked up, jump in the fucking car and just go out like Thelma and Louise. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure it's going to look all that good in a 1.1 Mitsubishi, but fuck it, let's do it, yeah! Well, I mean, i got to say, that went a hell of a lot better than I expected it to, right? Yeah, right? I mean, I, I know that it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, but... I mean, who knew that letting all the gammons and flag shaggers riot each other to death would actually kind of fix a lot of the problems and we would get some common sense? I mean, it's going to be a hell of a lot of work cleaning up all that mess, but I think it's worth it now that we're rid of, you know, all of them fuckers. And about time too. You know, I heard that apparently the toys have lost like 95% of their voter base. What the fuck? Fucking magical. Right. And I mean, didn't that little 10 day lockdown just go so quickly? Like, yeah, it was 10 days of literally not being allowed to leave the house. But I mean, did the job, right? I mean, it's kind of funny how things work when, you know, everybody is equally putting in the effort to make it work and, you know, just a short amount of time, you can really turn the fucking tide. Boy, it's... Is this a dream? <laughs> uh, no. No, it's, it's not a dream, Alan, but, um... It, it is a scripted video, so... It, it is fiction. Oh! Do you think we could just stay here anyway? I mean, this seems far more hopeful and optimistic than reality does. I mean, I, I would love to. I really wish we could, but um, no, sorry. Alas, we're, we're already down to our, our final lines in the script, so. But you have those, so, you know, at least enjoy that final line. Make it something meaningful before, you know, we go quietly into that good night. Right. Yeah, I, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I, I was just starting to get some hope for the future, but... <sighs> okay. 
I mean, at least people, you know, got to own the libs, own the lefties, and, you know, at least they managed to put Boris in office and, you know, put one over on everyone else. Hope it fucking worked out for them. Where did that come from? You know what I don't get? How to properly start a conversation when you enter the room? No. I don't know, I'm sure that's definitely something you don't get. I mean, how every fucking interaction we have in this household basically starts off with you just storming into the room and acting as if we were already halfway through a conversation. Look, I'm trying to get a point across here. Yeah, not very well. No, look, I'm just, I'm trying to say, like, it's really weird when people ignore certain parts of their body when, you know, they're trying to take care of themselves, right? <laughs> yeah, says the guy who has gained a fair amount of weight because of the, you know, pandemic and not being able to get to the gym and, you know, the chief reason being a complete lack of self-control. Yeah, listen here, you little shit. That was an uncontrollable circumstance, right? Something I could never have foreseen that was completely out of my sphere of influence, right? And as soon as the new gym gear turns up, I'm going the fuck back. Oh, old stuff doesn't fit anymore. Not quite. But it will, after some hard work. Oh, all right then, so what point was it you were trying to make about taking care of yourself? Well, I mean, people fixate on like their hair and their nails and like, you know, their face and they want to get their lips done and get lipo and shit, but they ignore like some of the really fucking easy things to fix for some reason. Uh -huh. This is about feet, isn't it? I'm just saying, it's fucking weird that people will spend so much money and effort and time getting their nails did and, you know, all these really nice designs and really nicely painted so they can show them off and yet they still leave their fucking heels looking like dusty old boulders. It's weird, right? Well, maybe it's because not everybody is going to look or, you know, care. I mean, maybe, but why bother going to all that fucking effort if you're not going to do the entire job? You know? And, I mean, if they spend so much money on fucking face creams and hair dye and getting their nails done in the fucking first place, then surely a bit of foot cream isn't exactly going to break the fucking bank. Maybe they just don't like feet. I see, now you're just pointing out the paradox of it all. What? That they don't like feet, so therefore they just ignore their own feet and let them deteriorate and turn into, you know, disgusting disgusting, unhealthy things that then just serve to reinforce their hatred. Uh, yeah, actually. How, how did you... Because obviously I've seen the same thing. Many people have just made up their minds that feet are gross and disgusting and nothing's gonna change that, so why even bother? Yes, exactly! It's like they already automatically assume, they have it in their head, that people are gonna find feet gross anyway, so why bother expending the fucking effort? I mean, it's not even as if it's all that much effort anyway, but then I I suppose, you know, we know that because we've done it. Yeah, I guess when you start off it's easy to think that there's a hell of a lot more effort involved than there really is. Yeah, but I get your point in any case. I mean, it's like as soon as summer rolls around, people are instantly digging out the sandals or the flip-flops or whatever, and, you know, they're more than happy to just expose how dry their skin is or how infected their toenails are, and I mean... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but if I had something like that wrong with me, I, I would not feel comfortable exposing it like they do. Honestly, yeah, I get that like, people don't think the same way we do, but like, if I had issues around a part of my body that, you know, I could also easily fix, I don't think I would want to broadcast that to the world and show it off. Yeah, but people are people, I guess. They don't all think the same way we do. I mean, hell, to most of them, you know, feet are just feet. And they're not really going to put any more thought into it than that. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's weird. You know, you don't really see this with other parts of the body. You don't see people just happily walking out the door with fucking messy, greasy, disgusting hair or stinking to high heaven of body odour and sweat. Well, I mean, you have been to a furry convention, so you know already that, yeah, some people certainly do. Oh, God, yeah, good point. Don't remind me. That's, that, that is definitely one thing of conventions that I don't fucking miss. Well, this has been an enlightening discussion, but, um, but I should really get back to, you know, this. To what? You weren't exactly doing anything. Exactly! So if you could kindly, you know, shuffle off back to whatever it is you were doing so I can get back to this, that would be just dandy now, wouldn't it? And I don't know, maybe we could schedule another discussion for a couple of months' time when the weather has changed and you start getting all bent out of shape because people aren't wearing slippers. Yeah, to be honest, that sounds more like you. Yeah, well, I'll give you that, but, but I, it's more like both of us, really, let's be honest. But, but yes, if you could just, you know, kindly 
fuck off until, I don't know, you thought of another weird random conversation to burst into the room with. Yeah. Okay. Maybe something about tea. 